Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. There was a brother down in, I believe it was Texas, it was in the South. And the brother, they found the young brother wrapped up in a carpet with all his organs missing. Stuffed with newspaper or, 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 or teddy bear cotton or something like that. That brother was taken from his parents and there was nothing that his parents could do. They, it happened at a school. The, uh, the, the teachers were, were demanding, uh, I'm sorry, the parents were demanding justice. They wanted to see the video. Now the video is missing. The police said they closed the case. All right, so these things are happening to our people uh, on, a, on a daily basis. In Chicago, sex trafficking, organ trafficking. Right. Our sons and our daughters are being taken from us at an alarming rate, and there's nothing we can do. Why? Because God put these curses upon us. That's why there's nothing we can do. All right, so we are here showing our people who they are. Our people been lied to. Our people, when you ask our people who they are and what their nationality is, they'll say Islam. Islam is a religion. They'll say Christianity. Christianity is a religion, it's not a nationality. They'll say I'm a Buddhist, I'm a Mormon, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. These are not nationalities. These are religions that were made up. God says that your nationality is an Israelite from the various tribes. So we are here to show our people the truth, we are here to teach our people what's going on in these last days. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Read it again from the top. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb. Hey, my brother. God said that his people, you got, you got a second, come here for a minute. God said that his people will become an astonishment. What's your nationality, brother? Do you know who you are? If we knew who we were, we would make time to hear this Bible. Because we would understand that the Bible is for our people. But because we don't know who we are, the, we, we, we disassociate ourselves from the Bible. Read it again. And thou shalt become an astonishment. God says we were, we were going to become an astonishment as a curse. This is Moses speaking to the nation of Israel. He said that we were going to become an astonishment. Something, uh, uh, something wild to look at. Wow. Look at these people. They own the corners. They kill each other. They stand in front of liquor stores all day. They dare be daddy. The statistics, we got the highest statistics on everything. Diabetes, STDs. God said that we were going to become an astonishment. That's an astonishment. So if you agree, my brother, I see you looking. That's an astonishment. When the other nations look at us, because they don't have these high statistics of, of, of gang culture and murder and, and, and rape and, and killing and, and black and black. There's no, age, no such thing as Asian or Asian crime. Read it again. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. God said we were, we were going to become an astonishment, a proverb. A proverb is a wise, a wise saying. For example, all black people eat watermelon. My brother, do all black people eat watermelon? Not all black people. Do all black people eat love fried chicken? And yeah, most black people do. But come here for a second. Come here for a second, brother. The Bible says that these... Come here for a second. The Bible says that these... Uh, proverbs were going to be put on us as a people. Uh, black men don't take care of their children. That's a proverb. You want to have something from a nigga, put it in the book. Right. That's a proverb. God said that this, this, this is who we were going to become if we broke his commandments. Read on. And a byword. And a what? And a byword. Nigga, spit, coon, these are African Americans, Islam. The Bible said these are bywords that were going to be put on us. More. Eat, uh, Egyptian. These are byways, African American, Negro, color, black man. I'm a strong black man, I'm a strong black woman. What is that? It's just saying you're a color and a, and a man, or a color and a woman. But what is your nationality? God said that these byways were gonna be put on us in these last days because we broke his commandment. So it's up to us to come out here and bring the truth out so that we can wake up and rise out of this dead state that we're in. Read. Among all nations, among who? Among all nations, uh -huh. whether the Lord shall lead thee. So wherever we at, whether we in Jamaica, whether we in America, South America, California, Detroit, uh, Africa, Europe, Iraq, Iran, wherever we at as a people, 
we're being called by these bywords. We're being called by these uh, proverbs. We're in astonishment. It's all we're in the ghettos. We're, we're impoverished as a people all across the board, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword among all nations whether the Lord shall lead thee. So now, so God said that these curses were going to be put upon us because we broke his commandments. Let's get some of the other curses that befall our people. Read. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Read it again from the top. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The Bible says our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? That happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Our sons and our daughters were given unto another people, another nation of people. When did that happen? The transatlantic Atlantic slave trade. When did that happen? Christopher Columbus, 1492. Our sons and our daughters were given to other people. It still happens to us today. We still got our northern kingdom, our brothers and sisters being taken at the border of Mexico, right? We still got our northern kingdom, brothers and sisters uh, who can't find their children. How you doing, my brother? What's your name, bro? All right, brother. We still have our brothers, uh, our sons and our daughters being taken from us at the borders of Mexico. They can't find their parents. Parents can't find their children. We got DCFS here in the ghetto. They come knock on your door. Oh, we got a call saying you did something wrong. We're taking your child. You know. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. There was a brother down in, I believe it was Texas, it was in the south. And the brother, they found the young brother wrapped up in a carpet with all his organs missing. Stuffed with newspaper or, 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 or teddy bear cotton or something like that. That brother was taken from his parents, and there was nothing that his parents could do. They, it happened at a school. The, uh, the, the teachers were, were demanding, uh, I'm sorry, the parents were demanding justice. They wanted to see the video. Now the video is missing. The police said they closed the case. All right? So these things are happening to our people uh, on, a, on a daily basis. In Chicago, sex trafficking, organ trafficking. Our sons and our daughters are being taken from us at an alarming rate, and there's nothing we can do. Why? Because God put these curses upon us. That's why there's nothing we can do. Bring it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. God took that might away. So we, we, we think we can march, protest, and do all these different things, but God, at the end of the day, God took the might out of our hands. Pick up guns. God took the might. That's why none of this stuff never works. We always try to rise up under whether it be on the Black Lives Matter, whether it be under the Black Panthers, uh, whether it be on the uh, whatever organization that's out here to, to, that's for our people. Not that it's nothing wrong with being for your people, but God says he took the might out of our hands. All right? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. God said there's no might in our hands to get us out of these conditions. Your child can be killed by the police and there's nothing you can do. You make it, they may throw a few dollars at you. They may throw a few dollars at you, but you may, is that worth your child? Is that worth your son or your daughter? But these are the curses that befall us because we broke God's commandments. And God said that none can, uh, there, there should be no might in our hands because God put these curses upon us. Uh, let's go to uh, verse 40. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Right, so the Bible says because we don't serve God uh, for, for joyfulness and the abundance of heart, we don't want to hear the word of God as a people. We don't want to serve God with joyfulness. It's too hard for us, right, we say. We don't want to serve God. We want to make up an ideology in our own mind of who God is and serve that. And the Bible talks about that, read. Verse 47, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart. God said because we don't serve him with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. And for the abundance of all things. See, we'd rather serve our jobs for the abundance of all things. White man Jesus for the abundance of all things. 
Islam for the abundance of all things. Therefore what? Shall I serve thine enemies? Therefore we're going to serve our enemies. Because Islam was put on us by our enemies, so now we're serving that. Christianity was put on us by our enemies, so now we believe in that. Uh, 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 the doctrine of education was put on us by our, our enemies, so now we trust in that. Well, I'll just become as smart as I can, I'll get a doctor's degree, and then I'll be all right. I'll make as much money as I can, I'm free now. I read it. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So God is going to send our enemies against us, and what did our enemies do? They put us in the ghettos, they, gave, they made us impoverished as a people, they gave us Section 8 late cards, Welfare. This is what our enemies did to us. He said, you're going to serve your enemies since you didn't want to serve me for the abundance of life. Because the abundance of life is rulership for this planet Earth. It's being able to eat whatever you want to eat. Drink water whenever you want to drink water. It's being able to uh, uh, wear clothes that the most that God uh, ordained you to wear. Read. Therefore shall I serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against me in hunger and in thirst. God says we're going to serve our enemies in hunger and thirst. Now we got to pay for water. Now we got to pay for food. Things that grow that come out of the ground for free. Now we have to. Now we have to pay for it. Now we have to go go to work, slave, barely make enough just to have something to drink and some food and some clothes on our back. Read on. And in nakedness. And in what? And in nakedness. And for clothes, we got to serve our enemies. You can't even have. You gotta come outside naked if you don't serve your enemy. Because you gotta buy something, you gotta buy something to wear. So you have to make money. You have to go to your enemy to buy the clothes. First of all, to make the money, then go to him again to give it back to him so you can get some clothes for your body. When we are gods on earth. What is nation? Nation is men leading by example. Strong in the Lord, his word.